right friends this is uh, 52nd week as we have already told you in the beginning for 51st week and 52nd week we are producing capsules as a recap totally in 12 parts six parts during 51st week uh, six parts during 52nd week now let us look at some of the events which occurred these are the events which occurred somewhere around july of 2016 then the first one is you should know about european union we produced one capsule in 26th week on european union because european union is into the news because of brexit and if you look into the rationale behind the formation of european union european union was formed with the intention that countries which trade together are most likely to avoid going to war with each other that is the first philosophy of the establishment of european union or you can say it is the philosophy behind the gradual evolution of european union and another important aspect is there are 28 countries in european union and 19 countries follow common currency euro and single market allowing goods and people to move around is the basic trait of european union single market this term please don't forget then brexit Brexit is nothing but United Kingdom voted for exit of the country from European Union that occurred during the mid of 2016 and another important aspect is here working class people like factory workers predominantly voted for Brexit. Basically, Brexit as well as victory of Donald Trump during November 2016 signal the beginning of protectionism across the world and about India. India is not going to be affected much because of Brexit. I detailed various points with these five in this PPT. Please go through it. Next, signals to the world as a whole. That means widening gap between haves and have nots. That is the one part. As I have already told you, it is the beginning of anti globalization era. Then smart cities, Amrut, the Pradhan Mantri, Avas Yojana, they were started by the Prime Minister. Smart cities, 100 smart cities are going to be developed in our country. And the second point is Amrut came in place of JNNURM. So Amrut replaced JNNURM. Here 500 towns or cities will be selected for developing basic infrastructure in urban areas. So if someone talks about Amrut, it is utter mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation. Please don't forget, it replaced JNNURM. Then Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana. The goal of the government is housing for all by 2022. It requires 2 crore houses in urban areas. So the government during the year launched these 3. Then finally, AIIB has taken off. And here, one important point I would like to tell you three largest shareholders in AIIB are China, India and Russia. Similarly, the countries with highest voting rights China, India and Russia. Then the next one is a Central Pay Commission. Seventh Central Pay Commission gave recommendations and based on the recommendations, government implemented them from 1st January 2016 and it is headed by A.K. Madhur. And here government employees pay and allowances are revised once in 10 years. Then the next one is some important cabinet decisions are there. We have faced the crisis with regard to pulses. Pulses prices skyrocketed during the year. And union cabinet approved a long term contract for import of pulses from Mozambique. At the same time, a port will come up at NIM near Kolachel in Tamil Nadu. A port will come up at NIM near Kolachel in Tamil Nadu and it will become major gateway for cargo traffic. Then Chilcot report. Basically, this pertains to United Kingdom and Chilcot report blamed because there is no rationale for deposing Saddam Hussein because at that time Iraq was raided because of uh, the presumption that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction, but it was proved wrong. And Saddam Hussein had links with Al-Qaeda, that was also proved wrong. 
similarly chilcot report pertains to iraq's war enquiry report then unclose this is into the news during the year that is united nations convention on the law of the sea and here 167 countries and european union ratified and this united nations convention on the law of the sea came into existence in 1994 and this came into the news because of verdict by permanent court of arbitration in south china sea case and before going ahead what exactly is the territorial waters as well as exclusive economic zone that we discussed territorial waters are up to 12 nautical miles from baseline and exclusive economic zone up to 200 nautical miles and we discussed about what is meant by freedom of navigation please look into this slide then south china sea dispute we deliberated china lost in the south china sea dispute and another important aspect we discussed why south china sea is so contentious i have given various points for this it is major international sea route and every year 5 trillion dollars worth of shipping takes place through this and some other reasons i have given please go through them and claimants of south china sea there are six countries china vietnam philippines malaysia brunei and taiwan and permanent court of arbitrations verdict i have given and about the permanent court of arbitration these are the points it is intergovernmental organization it is not a court but it provides dispute resolution services and it gave a verdict stating that china has got no legal basis to claim historic rights to the bulk of the south china sea but china is not agreeing to the award given by permanent court of arbitration then we have deliberated what will happen now please go through this slide then we produced one capsule on armed forces the special powers act 1958 a draconian law please go through it if you want more then easy money policies adopted by advanced economies what is meant by easy money policies and before going into it i explained you about what are various central banks after that easy money policies quantitative easing what is the meaning of it similarly keeping interest rates abysmally low for longer durations this is another trait of monetary policies of developed countries at the same time negative interest rate policies then helicopter money so this is basically printing of currency to reduce the debt burden on the countries so these are the aspects we discussed crisis in south sudan we deliberated because of the rivalry between ethnic groups south sudan is almost on the verge of civil war then us chicken legs and indian poultry we discussed here the appellate body of world trade organization ruled in favor of united states of america in chicken legs case stating that india's avian influenza stipulations are discriminatory right then we have talked about bird flu what exactly meant by it please go through this slide and after one year exactly what happened and world organization for animal health what exactly do you understand by it these things we deliberated at the same time pellet guns and kashmir that is another issue during the year because of pellet guns several people lost their eyesight and subsequently prasad committee recommended pawa shells this one we have discussed mn forgotten crisis mn is into crisis and please look into this slide mn is having boundaries of saudi arabia and oman and mn government forces are supported by saudi arabia and rebels are supported by iran these things we deliberated there are two places were captured by government forces as well as rebels that is sana and eden and if you look at the next one doping and sports we deliberated on this doping came to the forefront because russia state sponsored dopism that is one aspect and the other aspect is two indian players are also under scanner because of doping one is narsingh yadav as well as indrajit singh 
and tennis player Maria Sharapova is you, please do not forget. So, these are all the aspects and it concludes part 7 and if you want more, please go through those PPTs. Right friends, with this let us conclude 7th part. Have a nice day. Thank you.